water. Earth. Fire. Air. Three weeks ago, I had the idea of gathering 100 players to simulate the world of Avatar, The Last Airbender. Using the Project Korra plugin and a brilliantly designed map, we recreated the four nations. During chapter 1, a lot of people were trying to grow and expand their nations. They incorporated their bending abilities with their building, which I found really really cool. There was also a grace period, meaning players wouldn't be able to take damage or hurt each other until after the first day. Despite the grace period though, it wasn't exactly peaceful behind scenes. A lot of tribes were made throughout the nations, and a lot of people were more distanced than united. The Earth Nation decided to have an election to elect their leader, and this is how it turned out. I think people have voted and Gollum is our new leader. But Fire also had plans. They wanted to team up with Earth to kill the rest of the nations because they thought the other nations didn't want world peace. And they would go up to the extent of killing just to have it. Right now, the Earth Nation is going over to Fire to aid them to kill the Air Nomads. But this would be a grave mistake later on. When Fire and Earth were united, Fire decided to betray them out of seemingly no reason. This ended up leading Earth's base to be burnt to a crisp while they were offline. Overall, this war just killed a lot of people, and ironically brought zero peace.
But even throughout a huge war, there's been one person that's been living in complete peace and harmony. And that player is Clarice. Clarice has been building this since day one, and this is what it became. After the war, the remaining players from water and air decided to team up and try and take down the other nations. The rest of the people from Earth had to flee from their village, well, since it, since it got burned down. They went underground and decided to grow farms, fish, and get better equipment. While this was happening though, a player named the White Soldier, who was one of the last waterbenders, decided to stand up for his fallen kind and fight the firebenders. And even though White Soldier was severely outmatched, it was nighttime, which meant his powers were boosted and it really helped him in the fight. While White Soldier was single-handedly killing all the firebenders, the day was coming to an end. People were trying to get their last advancements in before the server would close. In chapter 6, there was barely any people still on their nations. Well, except for Earth. Earth invited the couple of firebenders to come team up with them. Little did Fire know that Earthbenders were there to betray them all along. However, things took a turn. Apparently, Earth had a traitor, and as soon as Cloud realized that they were going to jump him, he was out. Not only did this harm fire, but it also harmed Earth. People started dying and they also started leaving. Like you would say yes. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Earth did not like that there was a traitor, so what was their solution? They single-handedly almost made their entire nation extinct, but that's not where it ends. Fire came back later to come and fight them, and well, this was the last battle on the server. Cloud and MNC Matt wanted to be victorious. They were the last people on Firebenders and they wanted to make a name for themselves, and they almost accomplished that. Pause. This is MNC Matt, and he just killed the rest of the Earthbenders. And you could say they won. There's no way they could lose, right?
In the end, every bender that was still alive went to Clarice's island just for one last time on the server and to bring peace throughout the entire world. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and comment your favorite part. It takes a while to make these events and it'd be appreciated if you guys would subscribe or just join the Discord in the description. Anyways, hopefully you guys have a good day and I'm out.